Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to bring you along as I head to the cruise terminal in Cape Liberty, New Jersey to tour Liberty of the Seas. Liberty of the Seas is one of Royal Caribbean ships and it is also my next group cruise going out for summer of 2023. So I can't wait to check it out and bring you guys along. Liberty of the Seas was built in 2007 and it holds 4,960 passengers. This ship is 1,112 feet long and it has a total of 15 decks. And I am very excited to board the ship today and to show you around because this ship is absolutely beautiful. There is lots of dining options and so many fun things to do on board. I can't wait to host my Liberty of the Seas summer of 2023 group cruise. I work for Mickey World Travel and I book a few group cruises every year and I get phenomenal deals. So it really, really is a lot of fun. And also I take part in most of my group. So I enjoy a good time with my clients. So now we're going through Casino Royale heading to the schooner bar. I know the piano bar is one of our favorite places to hang out, myself and my clients, so I really look forward to having some fun nights at the schooner bar for sure. This is the Royal Promenade, but before we go there, we are going to head all the way up to the pool deck because obviously that's what most people want to know about you want to see where we're going to have fun and i'm going to start in the solarium this is the adults only section and it's a really great place to have some relaxing time in the pool and there's their own little pool bar but also these hot tubs with these amazing views check this out how beautiful is that i loved this little rocking chair where you can kind of just relax and take it all in and now we'll head over to the family pool deck and this is where you can get your ice cream. It's also where the kids can play. There is a big play area with lots of water slides and splash pads. And speaking of the kids, if you go up to deck 12, that is where you're going to find the kids clubs, including Adventure Ocean. There is um, the area for the older teens called the living room which is a lot of fun. It's just like a hangout area. So I think it's really a great spot for your older kids, most especially. They want to have a good time without their parents and just make friends. It was set up differently on this day. This was embarkation day. Um, they do other events in here. You can see there's stuff for younger kids in here as well on this particular day, but typically this is the hangout area for your teens to go make friends. All right, so now we are going to head on over to the Challengers Video Arcade. Your kids can have a great time here and spend a lot of your money, <laughs> but it really is a great location if you're having a bad weather day or something. There certainly are lots of other options for the kids to do on board, and I think this is probably one of the best options. You'll need your cards to so make sure you have that, you know, because these things are not free but definitely a great way to spend a day or to spend a rainy day on board. Now we're going to head over to the sports deck where you can find the perfect storm and you can also find the rock climbing wall and basketball courts. There's so much for the kids to do on the sports deck. The rock wall looks way more intimidating in person, trust me, <laughs> and I love this really large basketball court. Also the Flow Rider is a lot of fun, definitely something the kids will enjoy. Not only do they have the only boomerang slide on the Royal Caribbean fleet, they also have the racing slides which are lots of fun. For an additional fee, you can head over to Johnny Rockets and get a cheeseburger and a milkshake. Johnny Rockets is a themed restaurant and it is like a 1950s diner. It's super cute inside. Here we are entering the spa. There are so many options for spa services. You can get a massage, you can get a facial. They also have a hair salon. So if you wanted to just come in and get your hair done, maybe for a formal night, that is another option. I really, really did love the spa area. It was very beautiful and relaxing. And in addition to the spa, Liberty of the Seas has one of the nicest gyms that I have ever seen on a cruise ship. It is so large with these beautiful views 
and I'm definitely going to consider taking one of their yoga or Pilates classes because this is the room that you get to do it in and it's gorgeous. Headed over on deck 14, you have the suite lounge. You need to have a grand suite or higher to access this lounge. Over here, we also have the lounge area, olive or twist, which is a great area for viewing sail away. And it's also a really nice lounge to meet up with for dance parties and trivia in the afternoon. Beautiful location. And then on the 15th deck is the Sky Chapel. So if you want to do a vow renewal or a wedding, this is the place to be. It's absolutely beautiful and it's one of the last in Royal Caribbean's fleets. Now I'm going to show you some of the cabins located on Liberty of the Seas from the most luxurious to the most basic. And we are going to start off with the most beautiful room, the Royal Suite. There is a grand piano in this room an enormous living room area you have a little bar area as well and lots of space outside of these sliders where the balcony is is a hot tub so your own private hot tub can you even imagine this is definitely the room i would love to be in absolutely gorgeous another balcony here right outside of the bedroom with two tables and chairs and then the bedroom is rather large and spacious as well. And can you even imagine having these beautiful ocean views right from your bed? I can. <laughs> and the bathroom is also enormous, a really nice area with a vanity, two sinks. It just goes on and on. You can actually get lost in this room. There's a rather large tub area as well. This is a nice big jacuzzi tub. I just could not get over the amount of space in this bathroom for a cruise ship. For those of you who cruise often, you know that this is something that is very unique. A big walk-in closet. Of course, they provide the Royal Caribbean robes as well. Now we're gonna take a look at the Harmony Suite. I suppose I would settle for this if I couldn't access the other one for some reason. <laughs> but you also have a large bar, living room, the bedroom in here is also very large and spacious with a nice big vanity and beautiful views from the balcony. Here we have a balcony room, ocean view balcony. Still rather spacious. You have a couch here which typically can pull out. The bathroom you can see is much, much smaller <laughs> than the other that I showed you previously. Now we're going to look at a handicap accessible junior suite, which is also a nice spacious room and the bathroom again is small but not quite as small there is room in there if you had a wheelchair that you needed to be able to move around in the bathroom you definitely have plenty of space for that and this offers beautiful ocean views as well a nice large balcony and you have your tv there with your little mini fridge finally we're going to take a look at an interior room so if you are really not caring about a room with a view and you're trying to cut back the cost, this is the room that you're going to choose. And I'm also going to show you what this room looks like when the bunks are down because these rooms sometimes can accommodate three or four guests. So there it is with the bunk down and yeah. I'm going to show you one more cabin before we head out to the rest of the ship and that's cabin 1598. This is the owner's suite. Also has a nice spacious bathroom with a full tub double sink, a large bedroom area, beautiful balcony. You can see the double balcony there and a nice little sitting area with a wet bar. So definitely a very comfortable room. Now we're gonna go into the Windjammer. This is where I had lunch on this day. There were so many options, really great dessert options. And this is what I got. <laughs> Food was okay, but I really enjoyed the carrot cake and the chocolate mousse the most. And then here's the main dining room. The main dining room takes up three whole decks. It's absolutely gorgeous. Plenty of space for everyone. If you did not get the drink package in advance, you still have an opportunity to purchase it on day one of your trip. Still a bit more expensive though. Definitely worthwhile to buy that in advance. Now, finally, we're going to head out to the Royal Promenade. This is the central hub of the ship where everything is going on. You can find lots of dining and bars, your next cruise shop where you can purchase your next cruise at a discounted rate. And you will also see here the cupcake where you can purchase homemade cupcakes and they also have cupcake making classes, which is super fun. 
Ben and Jerry's ice cream can also be found here and that is an upcharge. The cupcake shop as well is an upcharge, but if you want some Ben and Jerry's ice cream, this is the place to go. There's also plenty of shops and there is a lot of really cute little bars that I really could see myself spending some time in. One of my favorites was this bar coming up right past this vintage car that they have outside and it's called the Hoof and Claw and this is where you'll have live entertainment and it's a little English pub, super cute next to the Royal Caribbean logo shop, which is where you would go if you want items that say Liberty of the Seas or just have Royal Caribbean logoed items. And then finally, this one is included. This is Sorrento's Pizza and that is where you can go and get yourself a free slice of pizza pretty much any time of the day. We're going to head into the Star Lounge. The Star Lounge is where you're going to go for bingo, trivia, live acts, and karaoke as well. Definitely a very fun place to get together for the evening with friends. I love the tables. They are really set up nicely and I definitely can see my kids coming in here and doing some karaoke for sure. That's always fun to do is to hide a duck when you're on board the ship. So here's my little duck that I hid in the bushes here. It's fun when you find them as well. Okay, so now we're going to look at the Platinum Theater and this is where you're going to see the Broadway style shows and on Liberty of the Seas You can see Saturday Night Fever, which is an amazing show on deck four You can head over to Sabor and enjoy some Mexican food. This is an additional fee But they do have wonderful Mexican food here and the atmosphere is really beautiful I actually have an upcoming reservation and I'm excited to try it out This is a restaurant that they may be doing away with and have on many other ships So I'm excited that I'll get to check Check it out before it's gone. If you like to gamble, this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time over in the casino. There's lots of things to do here and there is a smoking and a non-smoking area in the casino. On air is your official karaoke area to go on the ship. So if you enjoy singing in front of a bunch of strangers, this is where you can have your 15 minutes of shame. And I know this is a lot of fun for a lot of guests. Heading over to Studio B. Studio B is going to be where we're going to find the ice skating rink. Yes, you can actually ice skate on Liberty of the Seas and there is a phenomenal ice skating show. Once you board the ship, you should definitely try to make reservations for the show because as you can see, this theater is a little bit smaller, but in the evening, there is an adult only show called The Quest and it is not to be missed from what I hear. It is really, really funny and a little bit, um, definitely adult only, <laughs> but I am excited to check out The Quest on our next trip. So as you can see, Liberty of the Seas has so much to offer from specialty dining, including Chops Grill and Giovanni's Table, which is wonderful Italian food, Johnny Rockets, Ben and Jerry's, Sabor. There's just so much to choose from. I hope that you enjoyed my tour. If you would like to join in on any of my upcoming groups, please give me a call or email me. My info is always listed below. I'd be happy to share with you some of my phenomenal pricing on group cruises but i can always offer the best rate available as well but what the nice thing is about group cruises is i usually can offer a pretty nice onboard credit that you can use anywhere on the ship including the spas and the many dining options so feel free to reach out i am always happy to help you with your upcoming vacation okay guys so i hope that you enjoyed today's ship tour I have some super exciting news. When we were getting off of the ship, my Royal Caribbean BDM gave me a congratulatory gift. She gave me this bottle of wine because something very exciting happened this past week. There was a contest going on for travel advisors to share their success story with Royal Caribbean and they chose a winner. And the success story that won was actually mine. And it was for my group cruise for Liberty of the Seas, which was inspired by my son's graduating class of 2023. It just kind of grew and grew and became a very large group trip. And I have over 40 cabins booked right now. I believe there's over 100 people attending my Liberty of the Seas 2023 group cruise. 
and I'm really excited and honored and I just am still in a state of disbelief that I won and it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys because it's kind of a big deal to me. I'm going to be featured on Royal Caribbean's webinar in June and they're going to share my story and it was just a really, really super exciting thing that happened. So I wanted to let you guys know about that. And that is going to be it for today. I will likely have more ship tours coming up in the future. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am sure that when I am on Liberty of the Seas this summer, I'm going to share a lot more information on the ship itself and maybe a little bit more of in-depth info on the shows and the food and everything else that Liberty of the Seas has to offer. Today, we just kind of skimmed the surface. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.